I used to say with us now the inauguration of President Joe Biden as the 46th President of the United States was done today, <laughs> Wednesday, January 20, 2021. Now, this marks the commencement of a four-year term for Joe Biden and that's the president and his vice, Kamala Harris. And this is a historical inauguration, and we want to wish the newly sworn in president and his vice all the best. Absolutely. That's um, today's um, International Day holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go with, um, let me come to you first. Um, Isi, what did mm. you find for us in the news? When I saw this news, this news actually made me so upset. And I That's think why I want I to take it first. <laughs> so I would have cooled down before I take my own news. And it, it, it's so upsetting because I don't know what our leaders are taking us for. I don't know if they're trying to encourage banditry in the country, where we have a situation where um, the northern governor, um, his name is Governor Belo Muhammad Matawali. He says that repent, um, the, the, in the news, what it says was that repentant bandits get helocs, vehicles, millions of naira in Zamfara state. And this was approved by who? Our one and only governor. Governor or president? Please. Governor. Of the state. Of okay. the state. Okay. So he approved it. And according to a source, uh, a top military source, he says that um, this vehicle that has been given to the bandits, bandits have been used to actually attack the repentant the villages. bandits have been using the yes, vehicle yes to attack the villagers and this is this is also encouraging banditry in the context that people just have to say i have repented of my ways and no don't worry governor and wait. No, no, okay. let me just tell him i want to apply he gives them i think there's a form where i can apply to become a bandit because i don't understand no i don't know really i don't get it i don't understand why ah. you dole out millions of naira and you know, hillocks cars. When hardworking people that go to school, they are suffering. They, they, they cannot get a job. Mm -hmm. You are encouraging banditry. It was Abacha that said this thing, and I keep saying it all the time mm -hmm. that if if crime lasts beyond twenty four hours, the government's, the government's hand, hand is involved. In it. Like I don't get Simple. it. How can you openly come out to say you want to start giving <laughs> repentant bandits these kinds of um, what's it called perks? And another thing is this: that if you just want to be affluent in Zamfara State, just say you have repented. That's, that thing is really getting to me. Now, another thing we also take, in, take into cognizance is this, that are we encouraging this in the North? Uh, is, the go, is, the, is the president also going to encourage it in the North? Are uh, the Northern Governors Forum going to encourage this <laughs> in the North? Then there is something wrong with the Northern it's um, not about, um, leaders. And, you know, you said this thing in I've the group said it today. Time when, and you time took, again. When, when you shared your story in the group that this was what you're going to say. And I said mm. it, it's not about it, it's not a northern thing. It's every government. Because in the other parts of it, if it is not banditry, mm. it is militancy. It, mm -hmm. So it is everything. It's not just one particular region of the country. Mm. It is just plain, simple, bad governance. Somebody actually said that the government is hustling the people. It's crazy. You know what? Let me take um, Tammy's uh, story. Tammy, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so my story is on education, which happens to be our focus for today. So the story is that the Federal Executive Council has approved a bill that extends the retirement age for teachers in the country from 60 to 65 years, according to the Minister of Education. And, you know, it's expected that the bill will be sent to the National Assembly for consideration and for approval as well. Mm -hmm. When I read this story, um, extending the retirement age for teachers from 65, from 60 to 65 years, I mean, general civil service, that's about 30 years of service to about 35 years of service. Some of the thoughts that came to mind include that we have a high unemployment rate. There are a lot of young people that are looking for jobs. Now, when we extend, if this bill is eventually passed in law, I mean, it's still at the stage of the bill, but we're, we're looking at possible effects of this. If we extend this from 60 to 65 years, that means those people who are in service will still be in service five years after they normally would have supposed to be retired. Mm. And that means that young people who are supposed to have more opportunities to get jobs would likely have reduced work again. You know, I was having a conversation with a teacher just today about this, about this news, and I was just listening to her thoughts on this. You know, a lot of teachers, a lot of, not, not this is not even related to teachers. A lot of people generally need to be equipped when it comes to tech. And, you know, we're talking about STEM, oh, we're you. talking about upgrading <laughs> our curriculum and all of these things. 
So it's very important that we have a place where it is, there are a lot of young people that are a part of the system. Thank you. And when we extend this age, this retirement age, I really don't see this happening. I, I, I don't think I am so excited that you took us there because that was the question I was going to ask these people that want to pass this bill. You know, mm. we are already complaining that the crop of teachers we have, they are outdated. I'm sorry to say, oh, please, I know that mm. the teachers will come and attack me. Not but the all truth is of that them. Eh, eh, the mm. majority of the teachers that we have, like they are outdated, English. right? Mm -hmm. So how would you still extend the age of, uh, what's it called? When you should be thinking of how to trap them from, uh, I mean, fresh graduates that are just coming, their brain is still hot, you know, that are tech savvy and all of that, and how to incorporate tech into the educational structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does not make any mm -hmm. sense. When I saw the story, when I saw the story, what actually came to mind was the fact. Let me hear. Okay. Tell me, saying. Go ahead, tell me. Yes, I was saying that one pain point, for example, for older teachers, which I think that the government should be looking at, that the federal executive council should be looking at, is how to ensure that those who retire retire well. They get their gratuity all the time. A teacher retiring at 65, it takes averagely, it takes about three years to get your gratuity. Will grat likely get his gratuity by 68, 69, 70. He's probably old and not even alive. Let them retire at the, you know, at this age of 60. If they need to come back to consult for special cases, that's Thank fine. You. But it's okay for them to train younger people. I mean, I think that's the that's the joy of it. When you are old and you are in a place and you're doing so well and you train other younger people that are able to continue, that's Absolutely. the joy. And then they retire at 60, they get their gratuity and pension, not delay them for another extra years, and they are hoping that they are alive to even get their gratuity and pension. I, I, don't see, um, I don't see the motive behind this. I, I hear that it's so that we have experienced people, but... Um, I think the demerits outweigh the merits in of Nigeria, this. In Nigeria, experience. Demerits I agree with you on that. Yeah. Demerits actually outweigh the merits. Let's look at it from another perspective. Where we have a situation with um, the fact that students are in school and they don't graduate on time. Strike. By the time they now get out of school, they tend to use what's They're it older. called? They are older. And they tend to have, we all, we all know that Nigeria has the real age and the CV age. Mm -hmm. So by the time they are saying that 65 is the retirement age, they might have it at 70 or 75, probably. How good would the brain so be So how then? effective will that individual be? So you have a lot of people who are in the system, but they are not adding value to the system. It's Today simple is as education that. day. We'll be all right. My story is very simple. <laughs> I just want to congratulate again the president of the united states of america you know he was sworn in today and officially you know he's now president of the united states of america president then i'm so happy again very particular about Kamala harris because this is an historical event you know exactly. because she did not only um she 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 crossed every part of history the best uh, first uh, female vice president in the united states and also right. black colored. yes colored so i mean we are super excited I, I, I see a lot of things, fresh things happening in the U.S. It was so sad watching, I watched the inauguration, I mean, sorry, the um, outgoing speech. president's um, speech. You know, it was so sad how, you know, how you get so stuck up and consumed thinking that every other person is wrong, but you are right. I mean, you see this thing, I keep telling parents from a young age, when you're a child, you know, you have to curb that thing because for me, it's just almost like a baby, you know, like it's um, um tro toy um what's that word you're, what? you're being um what's the word if it if a baby is causing a lot Tantrum. of tantrums mm -hmm. that's what i see you know happening mm -hmm. and you can't see beyond your nose you just feel like oh i you know he made something very funny he said they have they, they've done so well so he sees the new administration doing well because he had already set the standard like taking all the glory like nami duam nami duam like i was wondering like can you just grow up the you man, know can you grow up already like i said i am so i don't want to insult him because one he's no, older than i am no i we can't insult was the him. president yeah. but the key thing is that i am so happy yeah. that he's out yeah we're and we want sanity back, back yeah. in the system <laughs> Not drama. Timmy, do you have anything to add to that or would you just go on a break? <laughs> Is Timmy there? Okay. So she's going to get right, we'll, <laughs> we'll take a break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation on education. Stay with us. We'll be right back.